Good afternoon, Jefferson's all of my teachers and my colleagues. My presentation will cover the complications of these sources of the lead. The presentations are uh, well, just gets uh, with these uh, subtitles, command complications of the services, complications of the liver sources and its management, general management outline. This, uh, this table uh, represents for the complications of the liver sources. See here, we can see the so many complications um, because of the time limitations, uh, it's impossible uh, to make the detailed discussion. So I just um, want to highlight these same complications. The first is a very hemorrhage. Patients with the very hemorrhage typically present with the hematemesis and or the melina. It's typically treated with the endoscope. It's a very, very cell band ligation. The other treatments, other treatment include the endoscopic sclerotherapy and placements of the tips. These are the alternative to the band ligation. Brazil hemorrhage is associated with high mortality rates. Although the survivor has improved with the modern techniques for controlling the brazil hemorrhage, mortality rate remains high. Range in the 15 to 20 percent of the 30 days mortality. The most common complication of cirrhosis is ascites. This first step leads to fluid retention and ultimately ascites and patient with cirrhosis is the development of the portal hypertension. The development of portal hypertension is the starting point of the ascites. Patients without portal hypertension usually do not develop the ascites of the edema. Those with ascites have a several circulatory vascular, functional, biochemical abnormalities that contribute to the pathogenesis of fluid retention. So main treatment includes the combinations of the tyrotics and the sodium restriction. Some may require the repeated therapeutic paracentesis. And here again, the this tips replacement uh, placements in the patient with refractive sites. The next complication is of spontaneous bacterial peritonitis. SVB is the infection of the existing ascites fluid without evidence of an intra-abdominal secondary source. And clinical manifestations include fever, abdominal pains, abdominal tenderness, or mental status. The index of suspicions of SVB must be high, so we can make the early antibiotic treatment. Because is uh, if we uh, our treatment is late, the mortality is usually high. The diagnosis is established by the positive ascites fluid bacteria culture and or the elevated ascites fluid polymorphonuclear leukocyte count. That means the uh, more than two fifty cell per millimeter. The next is a hepto-renal syndrome. It's referred to the development of the renal failure in the patients who have advanced liver disease due to the cirrhosis, maybe due to severe alcoholic hepatitis, maybe due to the acute liver failure. So arterial vasodilatation in the splenic circulation, it is triggered by the portal hypertension, appears to play a central role in hemodynamic changes and decline in the renal function in the hepto syndrome generally benign during sediment, very low rate of the serine excretion, and a pro progressive rise in the plasma creatinine concentration. In approximate uh, two-thirds of the patients were all, all accurate. The diagnosis is diagnosis of the exclusion. Hepatorina syndrome has a poor prognosis unless hepatic function improves or liver transplantation spa. The next and the comments and complications of the cirrhosis is hepatitis and cephalopathy. 
The spectrums of the potentially reversible neuropsychiatric abnormalities in patients with the liver tension, patients with the liver dysfunctions, is depends in the, the diagnostic patterns. Patients might present with the insomnia or hypersomnia is common early features that typically precede the overall neurologic signs. This is pictures uh, represent for the uh, timing of the habitat, timing and development of the habitat and subluvity. And the um, usually patients uh, start with the psychiatric symptom like the sleep disturbance and later euphoria or depression and patient may, de may get the uh, may develop the disorientation, somnolence, confusion and Lastly, um, patients uh, begin unconscious. Neuropsych uh, neurologic symptoms uh, a little bit lag like behind uh, the psychiatric presentations, including asteresis, last speech, ataxia, alter uh, reflexes, nysmax, and the loss of reflexes. And finally, patients in Michael D. coma. And then we can score the heavy encephalopathy according to the West 7 criteria. Uh, uh, score zero, ranges from the score zero to the four. So treatments of the hepatic encephalopathy, we need to address any pre predisposing conditions like the reversible causes like infection or the giant baby. So we can give the synthetic tisocrites, for example, lechulose, we can give the non-absorbable antibiotics rather than means. These uh, treatments are the available based and the recommended by the so many companies. The next complication is hepatocellular carcinoma. Patients with cirrhosis have markedly increased risk of the developing or the HCC. Patients with cirrhosis from the hepatitis B and hepatitis C, NASH, and hemochromatosis are the highest risk for the developing hepatocellular carcinoma. While those with the cirrhosis from the alcoholic, uh, sorry, those cirrhosis from the autoimmune hepatitis and the Wilson disease appears to have a low risk. Hepatocellular carcinoma frequently is symptomatic only in its course. That's why uh, many times, so many times, uh, uh, we are uh, patients in my presence with the late diagnosis. The compensations of the previously compensated cirrhosis should raise the suspicions of the hepatocellular carcinoma development. The common signs and symptoms of the ACC include pain, early satiety, and obstructive jaundice with or without palpable mass. Diagnosis mainly suggested by the marked elevations of the FFP2 proteins with or without typical radiographic findings. At normal alpha fetal does not preclude the diagnosis. Next complication is hepatic hydrothoris. It is defined as the presence of the blue effusions in the patient with the sources, no appearance of underlying carapulmonary disease. It is a result from the side fluid shift into the pleural surface to the defect in the diaphragm. It is usually right-sided. Treatment include diuretics and the sodium restriction, repeated therapeutic, thoracentesis, and here again, tips and liver transplantation. The next is the hepatopulmonary syndrome. It is defined by the following triad. Patient might have liver disease. Patient might have increased alveolar arterial gradients of fine breathing on air. And there, were, there must be the evidence of the intrapulmonary vascular abnormalities like the intrapulmonary vascular dilatation. The prevalence of the hepatopulmonary syndrome among the patients with the chronic liver disease range from the 4 to 47 percent, depending on the etiology of the uh, cirrhosis. There is no effective medical therapy for the hepatopulmonary syndrome. The next is a cirrhotic caromopathy. Up to 50% of the patients with event cirrhosis have the features of the carry dysfunction. They may have a normal to increase carry output and control till the at the rest, but 
implanted response to pharmacological, physiologic, and pathologic stress can occur in any causes of this cirrhosis. More commonly seen in the patients with alcoholism and patients with underlying hemochromatosis. So let me perceive the management outline of the cirrhosis. The major goals of the management managing the patient with the cirrhosis include slowing or reversing the progressions of the liver disease. We should prevent the superimposed and salt into the liver. Identifying the medication that the or should be applied and done. That means the, we should apply the hepatitis as far as well as we can. Managing the symptoms and the laboratory abnormalities. Preventing, identifying, and treating the complications of the cirrhosis. And the last is the optimal timing for the liver transplantations. If patients develop the decomposition or the uh, patient develop the significant complication. The first is slow, slowing or reversing of the progressions of the liver disease. Sometimes uh, uh, it can attainable. Although cirrhosis is generally considered to be irreversible, that's the next event stages. The exit point at which it becomes irreversible is unclear. So we, we, uh, it is very difficult to know the point not no return. Some conditions like the successful treatment of the carnivore hepatitis, abstinence, total abstinence from the alcohol, can make uh, reversing the progressions of the liver disease. And many studies, non slightly beta blockers and compensated cirrhosis can reverse the progressions of the liver disease. But the implications in the clinical practice is still uncertain. The, ne the next strategy is uh, preventing superimposed involves to the liver, like uh, giving the vaccinations, the avoidance of the hypotoxins including herbal and alternative medicines, and that is a medication adjustment. Next strategy is management of laboratory abnormalities like the tomocytopenia, elevated RNR, and electrolyte imbalance. The next is the preventing progressions of the complications like very bleeding, spontaneous pediatritis, Abdorina syndrome, abdorina and the secondary bacteria infection. So I would like to conclude my presentations. A patient with compensated cirrhosis are usually asymptomatic, have a greater likelihood of preserving the liver function if risk factors are removed and the underlying condition is treated. Progressions of the fibrosis cirrhosis may lead to worsening of water hypertension and communication, including basal, hemorrhage, refractitis, spontaneous bacteriophagomitis, hepatic encephalopathy, hepatorenal syndrome, as well as hepatocellular carcinoma. The high morbidity and mortality of these complication, it is important to identify the complication, to pursue management to prevent the disease progression and refer the patients early to the transplant centers for the evaluations of the liver transplantation if patients uh, develop the decompensated liver cirrhosis. Thank you. Hope you also be to have a CIE to be in Jesu Tenshi Barishim. The lab be sitting chow ya, management of border hypertension counseling care. Hope you will be by and see our doctor online for our later swap and panda apparition. Now, I'm going to see you. 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 See
Well, I've nothing to disclose for today's presentation. But the port of habitation, one of the most important things is that we have to do with three prognostics. We have to do with habitation. We have to do with chronic diabetes. We have to do with chronic diabetes. We have to do with progress. We have to do with cirrhosis. We have to do with cirrhosis. Three prognostic stages. We have to do with compensated cirrhosis. We have to do with decompensated and there's a Stage of father decompensation of your shin. There are general compensated cirrhosis called Velo Lurima Pioles or the Vrisis Mishiwana for the imaging evidence general general cirrhosis shield. I made general endoscopy by the letter command of Vrisis Mishiw. I may Vrisis shield general bleeding episode machine. There is a general compensated cirrhosis of your level. There are compensated carnivore decompensated or pounded decan major driving factor after a clinical significant port of hypertension for the CSP. She is a general decompensated cirrhosis could be on the bio. But decompensated cirrhosis, my mother, a side issue that we say, hemorrhage, she did hepatic and cephalopathy, she in general, decompensated cirrhosis of the mother. But decompensated can be a general, there's a stage of father decompensation by means of system inflammation and vasodilatory support or vasodilatory process. Yeah, poor view of your eyes, so you know, general father decompensation, get to eye, you know, development of second events, you know, more recurrence or refractory ascites. Or recurrent three-year hemorrhage, recurrent hepatic and cephalopathy. You know, now we are, you know, HRS or jaundice. You know, jaundice got a lot. You know, is a parameter for liver insufficiency. You know, and now we are, you know, spontaneous bacterial peritonitis. You know, is called it. You know, father decompensation of the member. You know, you know, what I have to say is, you know, the compensated can be, you know, the clinical significant part of hypertension. The compensated can be the decompensated cirrhosis of the bowel. Major driving force. So, when I say I'm young, she's better than the other one. So, pathogenesis, ma, diga, or you know, intrahepatic vascular resistance, gam yala, you know, you know, structural release, what, you know, the micro, the nodular cirrhosis, yeah, you know, the or intrahepatic circulation of complex cellular, you know, you know, functionally, yeah, you know, you know, nitric oxide, you know, or hepatocytic, you know, nitric oxide, you know, you know, you know, intrahepatic vascular resistance, gam yala, you know, you know, the body pressure, tell, you know, the body body pressure, tell, like, you know, system. So, uh, splenic vasodilatation followed by aphytic arterial hypovolemia and then activation of the neurohomerous system and IA system activation and sort of retention and lead to the development of ascites. You know? And I will generally the fluorine and I will in a border pressure hotel. You know? And CSPH will generate more than 10 millimeter mercury attempts in the clinically significant border hypertension. She did look at my level. I'm a general the the previous year development one of collateral formation in the previous year one follow by previous year hemorrhage another question about the system is shent in ammonia bypass fill up your general developments of hepatic encephalopathy or the don't go out and you know that the compensated cirrhosis of pc but not going to know it's a million change but all the way one of the guy is your bacterial translocation because of the leaky gap phenomena in general cirrhosis model but those in associated molecular pattern so damn so diane is Ah, yeah, nebiot jono systemi inflammatory response, splenic vasodilatation, bovi or PC level. Ah, ima jono habito reduce vena perfusion, or no vena vaso constriction. Ah, sila in jono habito vena syndrome, no ascites and refractory ascites or dari chenai. Ah, mula jono ah, the clinical significant part of hypertension ah, ni jiri level. Ah, no baseline habito vena pressure gradient more than ten, so in jono ah, clinical significant part of hypertension or tamat level. Ah, no CSP ah, sila jono ah, the Decompensated cirrhosis could be able to predict low nine. You know, CSP is a little bit of a side issue where you can open your head, breathe your head, breathe your head, and open your head. And over hepatic encephalopathy, you can be able to open your head, breathe your head, breathe your head. And also, it's predicted that very development of very sincere hepatocellular carcinoma. Now, the prognosis takes the associate with the higher mortality. You know, compensated cirrhosis on a median overall survival of 15 years. The compensated pediatric cirrhosis, you know, generally more than two years median overall survival, and generally further decompensation was in the median survival nine months, a very short duration. And we generally did a target care or cirrhotic patient in my or general prevention of the hepatic decompensation. But the compensated pediatric, we can prevent the hepatic decompensation. So we are generally did a target care or double. And generally online are did a how to prevent the hepatic decompensation patient with poor hypertension. And then how to manage in, uh, and complicated ascites in our primary care setting. You know, general compensated 
ကလေပြီးတော့ဒီကော်မဲ့ဒီလေးကိုပြောနိုင်တာတော့ဒီကမေဂျာဒရိုင်းဖိုစ်ကလိနီကယ်စစ်ဂနီဖိကန့်ပ
ဒီကော်မန်ဇေးရှင်ကိုရှိနေပြီးတော့နော်အစိုက်တီးစ်အော်ဒါမွေ့ဖရီစီယာဟမရီရှိတယ်အဆက်ဖလိုပတီရှိ
Side issue in general is uh, there's a significant impact on social life and rates of hospitalization and is required for the chronic treatment and other complication and also associated with the poor prognosis. Uh, natural history marginal ascites will treat the marginal. There's from no ascites to development of ascites without complication, we call it uncomplicated ascites, and followed by development of hyponatremia and then refractory ascites and development of hepatorenal syndrome. I don't know, the guy or the man, and complicated ascites go back to the guy down in the other one. The mechanism at all, you know, it's a male chain, but all the way, there's a sinusoidal hypertension theory and sort of retention and facial dilatation theory in developmental ascites. Now, general aside, for my opinion, general sodium, the sodium and water, you know, the collagen, the renal air, various parts of nephronic, you know, reabsorb the other one. To be not general, the uh, RA system activation is not a major driving uh, force car, you know, hydro stall by means of the ADH stimulants in water, water reabsorption. You know, general ADH can be, if you do the receptor, you know, the ball and the ball and uh, the nali cyclists will activate load there, cyclic AMP11, you know, phosphor kinase will activate load there, you know, equal brain to receptor, you know, it began membrane with all we got, but still load the fascic area, it began membrane with my inside load there, and then, what the resorption to the to the lumen to mentalary intestation you know, the mechanism and it the sort of water retention lead to the development of ascites in cirrhosis patient you know. but general great quail we are one of ascites got grade one grade two grade three but grade one so are the zone never do that grade one grade two are grade two are the moderate symmetrical distension of the abdomen and grade three are the gross and massive ascites for general grade three look them you know. and then we can palpation and uh, imaging uh, we all know that it's a percussion technique for the ascites. Uh, you know, fluid trail, but not fluid wave goes to the solution or the more likelihood for the presence of ascites in the physical examination. You know, physical symptom are general abdominal gut, weight gain, and you know, and guess what you see that in the area general ascites will be the likely to see level. A bit less likely in low and guess what no increase in abdominal guts and no recent weight gain in. New onset grade two or grade three ascites, she needs you know, any pathology to cool she loves the general diagnostic or a synthesis rule she buy. One of the got all, but the general diagnostic or a synthesis of change up a neutrophic on T9. One of the neutrophic on more than 250 so general SPP not the matter and also. We can have the information on ascites, total protein, and SHGG, or not second, I know, yeah, you know. XHGG, so we can definitely, uh, we can differentiate the different causes of ascites in various etiology. You know. uh, SAC, more than 1.1, you know. The GABA, you know, high SAC, high SAC, not good, not, the SHGG, you know, 1.1, 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 you and protein count of the champion GDA. Well, aside to the protein count are less than 2.5 cm because of uh, the general, the liver fibrosis are more the capillary lights sign inside the pillar. The protein are general leakage got the aside flow of protein leakage got near the water. One of the bottom of the other one of the general high sex low protein. So we got a sign inside the hypertension. One of the general cirrhosis of the champion of the general demand. One of the high sex normal protein. So in other general other causes of the post sign inside of hypertension, the heart failure, constrictic pericarditis, well, that is the cardiac cost is low sex, low sex or not, she may not have peritoneal disease, but one minute near zero, and she might put that general, not be bad, do you know, she may not have. General high sex, low protein, low serum side protein, so in the cirrhosis, but high sex, high protein, so in the cardiac ascites, but low sex or not, peritoneal malignancy or peritoneal tuberculosis, so we are trying to differentiate low level. General, hello, so one point one lens or the one point one time solution, the HBPG net, the direct correlation sheet, the number of high sec or a size agreement gradient more than one point one, the general body pressure net, the two jar, the general one point one, the general cut off in the chapter. Now, what about the prognosis in uncomplicated ascites? One year mortality, you know, forty percent sheet, two year mortality, fifty percent sheet. Now, general patient with ascites. CV so and we can consider for referral of liver transplant in this patient. 
how to manage and patient with side disorder. Oh, from our short restriction long and follow by diuretic. We are also in our last volume process disease or to tap in on your tips and liver transplantation. But you might not take down away. You got any bill on it. Uh, could you start with soft restriction? Well, no. since there are to general 90, 41 is our view that is a uh, important soft restriction in half failure to view that general sub view of your life. No. Uh, general Syrian restriction or general long name. No. A blow letter to not take a car or general are the 80, uh, 80 milli move on no. uh, that general data 80 ground uh, two gram per table no. 80 milli move. ปาเจนรัวลีดาโอเจนรัวดาซอลิสเซชั่นโลมะเนาะเราออสเซชั่นออไซดิสมาเจนรัวรีคอมเมนเดอร์โลบาเลยเมนเซอร์ทรีทเ
Sorry for the disturbance. Uh, and uh, the diuretic beer we must you know, there's a potential for the overdiuresis, dehydration, electrolyte abnormality, and renal dysfunction. You know, to do as diabetic and subluxative, you know, to pin and normal diuretic, you know, three tabi or tongue. The diuretic would be blue beam level, sequential or combined one. The sequential and combined beer account, sequential, you know, diuretic could be too light down. Combined or sagria. You look directly at you know, these parameters like tone or very related comments. You combine also other general time to figure out what side is up to call it. Now, treatment could be a regular name to the normal combination, combination, and put it on the far cheap out. But you directly, you blue tone level, no, or step by pattern and tone level, no, one to one ratio. But now, I think now, stop initial do this color, you know, I think now 50 milligram with the, you know, 50 by 20 milligram. Now, step by approach the problem. Now, next step by other general, one to one to the 140, 220, 220, 220, 220, 220, 220, uh, sodium restriction, death, no electrolyte abnormality, renal dysfunction within one week, you know, and calmness with the raw two men. But I read it with the response of them, you know, 24 hours in sodium expression at the moment, the amount of the yard, or not quite a directed with two men, so in the absence of contraindication, you know, EKI machine, you know, hepatic and supplement in the machine, you know. But you know, maximum doses, you know, the 400, 400 spiral electro, 160, uh, fusamide, total margin, you know, ပေးရှင်းအကျွန်တော်အစိုက်အစီကိုမိုဘလိုက်ဆ်ပလုံးနိုင်မှုဆိုရင်ရီကောရီရီဖရက်တီအစိုက်အစီမှာကျွန်တ
ที่ตระหนี่ ကျွန်တော်အပြုမြင်ပေးမဲ့ဆိုရင်ကျွန်တော်ဒီထားဝါတာအပြုမြင်ကောင်းတဲ့အချက်တွေပေါ့เนาะဒီအီတလီယန်
ซัมมิ่งซัลเฟตบูเดซิอันคลอไรคนนี้อ่ะงาเซมิลลิแกรมเอ่อกลูโกฟลัสคนนี้อ่ะงาเซเนี่ยลาบาชิบาเลยเอ
ไอ้ตัวเจ้าดีไซน์กันเอสกาโซลูชันมาดูดีแฮปปี้ไดเดสเนสเซอร์โรสิตดีมาพี่เอาแบบโปรตีนนี่เนี่ยบ้างปิด
ไอ้จอมจะเช็คกันอินเวอร์ตินอตเดสเทนอิตีเซลลูมินอคูโลเดบิอินฟอร์มเอ่อดิสไทรเดคันเซอร์เซลส์ออฟดิสไทรเดไ
ไดเกอร์ซิโรซิสคาอีฟวีแคนดูลิเวอร์ทรานสเพนเซอร์นาอิตสกิรูเดปาอยู่แฮบเนื้อเลเวอร์แยงยาละปะนะอิตสกู
Sono più raggi alla mattina. Ti aiuto, sono. Hello. Hello, you know, you're a child of the Can you hear me? ดิมาเมโอเลดิตุเซเดตเนาะเสียออนไลน์มาเนี่ยซอซอมีไทยเนี่ยเซ็ตเซ็ตปาวมีผิดตัวจริงรึเปล่าครับเราเราได้สวิ
ไอ้ชลีอ่ะโอเคอ่าซงจีเลียมวยดาเวสิเดอะปัตตอกซินโรดเนี่ยจองนั่งกันมาเนี่ยปรดอกซินไตเนี่ยก่อนมีสิเน
ตะคุเวเตวาเลดิซรูซิสออฟเลบาเปชั่นมาใหญ่เลบาสปอร์ติดแทรกสเตนี่คุณน่ะပြောတယ်ซิลิมารีโนบาโรเอลูเลฮา
ကောင်းတာတော်ဒီလိဗာရီဂျင်ရေးရှင်ဟိုအင်ပြန်ပြီးတော့ရနိုင်မဲ့စေမျိုးအဲ့လိုမျိုးတူထုံမျိုးပေ
era lo que más se usa si de fibrotic score at 1670 fito pide cada 78 a yan con dar reverse pitare no fibrotic kan at dyna stiffness ko dyna pitare no stiffness yo dai o ma ke fibrous tissue re nene yo dai stiffness ka yo dai but the fibrous tissue can be still there janne de re janne re ka ma e fibrous tissue ga ne da mya da de khona de no ge le bai structure khona ge re di temporal relation with portal vein portal tracts or central vein the sinusoidal structure ga ya to hai e ka de liver function ga normal pya ne stop chit ta ma hop e ro thap pi ro mai lo chit na ga cirrhosis ma phit ke ma phit on jo sa ja ba wan cirrhosis it's a very complicated and it is a severe burden to the disease and to the family and to the community and also to the attending physician so well, thank you very much thank you huh? ยะคุโลสตูนุยปีตวาโลเสียอีเสียมาอยู่อาลงอะทุกเป็นเจซูเต็นชีบาเลยชินนาวซ้องซีเซียนยาเสียอีโปรเฟสเซอร์อุคเ